What is up, Virgos? How y'all doing? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, glad you're back. If you're new, um, be a good little YouTuber. Oh, there's a little frog crawling out of my window. He's so cute. Um, be a good little YouTuber. Sorry, my ADHD is rough. Um, like, share, subscribe, push all the little bells and whistles, do all that good stuff so I can feed my kids and we can stay buddies. Um, I'm a Virgo rising. Hey, my youngest baby is a Virgo sun. So I really like Virgo energy. Happy. Um, today we're doing a you versus them love connection reading. All right. I'm going to take a look at you and your special or not so special person. Um, this is going to be the general look at everything. And then there will be a free extended on my other channel. So there's like studies. If you would like to check that out, that link will be in the description box below along with my email address where you can contact me if you want a personal reading. All right, let's take a look at the past, present and future between Virgo and their person. Take it as it resonates, your energy, their energy, whatevs. I just read the room. I don't know who's standing on which side. <laughs> All right, what does Virgo need to hear today? Three more. One, two, three. All right, Virgo, let's see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> the lovers starting off in the recent past. I can never get these to all show up. Uh, uh, uh. All right, what well, else? Close enough. Uh, with the lepers, we have death. Jesus, okay. Death in the reverse there. These readings have been really crazy. There's been a lot of crazy planetary energy going on. Pluto just switched signs. Um, Mars just switched signs to Cancer. Pluto just went into Aquarius. We just had all the planets basically lining up in the sky the other night in like some grand alignment weirdness. Which, by the way, took me out. I had like a migraine that whole day. That's crazy. Oh. Anyways, I only pulled 10 cards for this. And everyone's been getting all these majors. All right, you got the 10 of wands in the current situation. Yikes. Seven of wands with that. Come on, your future. We have the nine of cups yeah nine of cups in the reverse along with judgment in the reverse that's bizarre all right the world in the reverse is on the bottom holy crap towards the connection we have the four of wands in the recent past current situation we have the knight of swords in the reverse followed by the five of wands lots of fire energy the world in reverse, Scorpio energy, Leo energy, fixed energy. This is an interesting one. What I see here, like we start with the bottom of the deck, all right? The world in the reverse. The world is the last card in the tarot. That is when you're supposed to be Finishing something off, a cycle in your life, a pattern, a phase, whatever is supposed to be ending. This is supposed to be done. This is not done. You've got the world and death both in reverse at the bottom of the whole thing. And then in the recent past, those are the energies that I see. It's coupled with the lovers and the four of wands, literally making a choice about a commitment and being in a stable family type situation in a committed relationship. Somebody, whoever's on this side, all right, take it as it resonates. They had this major choice to make, whether or not to enter into this commitment. They were offering a commitment. I feel like they were putting out the energy that they wanted to be in a stable relationship. But I feel like what happened here is that something wasn't done with from the past. I don't know that this was another person. I feel like this is more like some kind of a, an issue or like a, a thing that we need to work through, you know, like a, a shadow side type deal. In the current situation, there's like a lot of confusion, a lot of burden, a lot of stress. The seven and the 10 of wands, those are two cards about, you know, seven of wands is first of all, defending what is yours or, you know, protecting yourself or 
setting healthy boundaries. Um, Ten of Wands is reaching your breaking point. And that kind of energy here, that chaotic energy about not knowing what to do and not knowing, you know, what we should stand up for or what boundaries we should be drawing here is with the Knight of Swords in the reverse towards the connection, meaning we really don't know where this is going. We don't have a good plan. We're just proceeding with no care or caution. We're just jumping into things. So we're setting ourselves up for failure because we're overly burdened about something. Coming up in the near future, I don't like this. We just continue with more wand energy towards the connection. The five of wands now, which is just petty, petty. It's like a devolution, <laughs> a devolving of this connection. You start off really strong with this lover's four of wands type energy. And then all of a sudden now that's too much to handle. I don't know how to proceed in this kind of relationship. I don't know how to be committed like this. I don't know how to, you know, get in this type of energy. It's just being straight up rejected, it feels like, or, or turned down, but it's, it's not a good choice, all right? The lover's card here in the recent past, upright, it's a, it's a major like life choice that you have to make for yourself. If you make it correctly, you finish out this cycle with the world and you receive some good karma, you learn a lesson, you advance your soul, you do whatever, you know, all that good stuff. Here, I'm seeing that this choice is not... It's like they're committing to something, but they're not going all the way in. They're not doing it full force. They're kind of half-assing it. That's leading to no good for them. It's causing conflict between the two of you. It's judgment in the reverse with the nine of cups in reverse. It's like you receive bad karma. You lose something that's, you know, super attractive to you. Like the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment type card. It's something you want energetically. And it looks like somebody's pushing this away. Somebody might have tried to force a relationship based on a child. This four of wands is very particular. I read art if you've not been here before. And look, there's two rabbits on here with a little baby rabbit. The lovers is a major life choice. Something here should have ended, I feel like, instead of trying to drag it out. It's almost what it feels like. Trying to make this stable and trying to be the person the other person wants them to be is creating a crazy burden here is what I feel. Somebody doesn't see a way out. There's like, they don't see. <laughs> they can't see the sun. Like they can't, they can't see the forest for the trees. Like one of those crazy analogies, but somebody just doesn't understand how they can keep proceeding in this direction. They feel like it's too much too fast. They also feel like every time it's two steps forwards, it's two steps back. <laughs> a lot of fire energy here. Even that lover's card looks super fiery. The deal though is like, I feel like this at the bottom, oh yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles after that and the King of Pentacles. Whew. It's time for somebody to grow up is what I feel like with this. This was a major choice. This was something that would have brought stability. They were offering it like they could handle it, but it, it's like that they didn't do something here to get that right. I can't wait to clarify these in the extended. Somebody's navigating waters that they are very unsure of right now or something that feels very foreign to them. And I feel like that has to deal with a family type dynamic. Like if one of y'all has a child and the other one does not, that is really weirding them out right now. Or if you're trying to get them to be like a family man or woman and they're not ready for that right now, that is causing a lot of confusion. I feel like this person is keeping up appearances, putting on airs, and I feel like they're going to continue to do that. They're going to fight themselves and tell themselves, you know, I can handle this. I feel like their guides are saying otherwise. They're like, you're not doing this correctly. You don't have, you have no idea what you're doing. This feels very new. This feels very foreign. And it feels like instead of learning how to deal with whatever this dynamic is, somebody is just straight up relying on the old ways and doing what they've always done. And that's not going to work this time. Whatever this is, this is not going to work this time. You have to do it differently this time. Um, all right, let me pull the other side and see what's going on with that. Me Virgos.
It's like almost like full and reverse energy that I feel with this. It's like we're jumping into this. We're making this choice to do this big thing. And then, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not what I signed up for. This is not what I expected. This is way too much. I can't handle this. I don't know how to go next. I don't know what move to make next. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to pretend like I don't care about this. But that brings in the judgment in reverse. Like bad karma. Making a poor life choice. Whenever the lovers shows up at an initial meeting between two people, it's a major soulmate type connection. You're brought together to either, you know, make a life together or to learn a life lesson together. This is a life lesson about family and being able to commit to something and being able to be dependable. I feel like this person desperately wants to do that, but they really don't have the best idea of how to possibly due to their childhood i can't wait to clarify this side this is a random one <laughs> all right other side we have the two of swords in the reverse here why does this feel very very forced <laughs> yeah strength Oh, no, that's Chariot. Sorry. Chariot. Cancer energy. Gemini energy here. Cancer energy. Gemini energy. Air energy. A ton of fire energy. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse to the Ten of Wands. It's falling apart. Three of Swords. Feeling betrayed right now. Feeling like we don't have anywhere to stand. We don't have a leg to stand on in this connection, whoever this is. And we got the five of pentacles being ghosted, left with nothing, the page of wands. Towards the connection, ace of pentacles. This is nuts. The ace of pentacles to the four of wands was the energy that y'all were sharing between the two of you. This had a lot of potential. Had so much potential. Something was moving very fast here with this chariot energy. In the current situation, what is this? The Queen of Wands, okay. She looks so like, not like a Queen of Wands though. And here we have the Hangman, bottom of their deck. Two of Wands in the reverse, double twos for this person. Ultimatums is what I feel with this. This side over here, okay. Chariot energy. They were moving fast. They wanted this to go. They wanted this to progress. They wanted this to, you know, get them somewhere. They wanted to cancer energy. They wanted to lock it down. Can't this chariot card, like chariot energy is like a protective energy. The chariot is what the man rides in. The gladiator rides in. It's his vehicle that gets him from place to place, but it's also like a crab shell that keeps them safe. This person was trying to keep something safe or promising safety of some sort or felt like there was no other choice here but to commit to whatever this was. Somebody's not getting their way right now. Now that I see these cards together, all right, I feel like you guys very much were picking up vibes from each other that seemed like you wanted to be in a commitment with this Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. However, whoever was over here who had the major choice to make here, death in reverse, they didn't do it. They didn't end whatever cycle they were going into and enter into this commitment that was offered. Because so I almost feel like this energy down the middle is like the divine giving something to you. There was a stable opportunity for a commitment here offered. And I feel like one side saw it, the other side did not. The side that could see it was like, chariot, 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 two of swords in reverse. Stop thinking about it. Just go, 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 go. Ace of pentacles. This is solid. This is going to work. Meanwhile, this side over here is kind of dicey about it. These lovers have blindfolds on. They're not really sure who they're even dealing with yet. That death card in the reverse, it's like there was something that they had not finished fixing or healing or getting over. They were not ready to rebirth a new connection yet. Now, whatever this is, if they reject it, I'm going to clarify again for the free extended. Check that out. If they don't know what's going on here, like 
I can't tell if they chose this connection or not. I feel like they didn't. Now somebody feels very betrayed over here. They're feeling like they can't have what they want. The queen of wands always gets her way. In the current situation, this person is held bent on getting their way. They're feeling that way because they're feeling three of swords betrayed, 10 of pentacles in reverse, like they don't have any stable footing in this connection anymore. That's because this side over here is not showing their hand. Knight of swords in reverse, they have no idea what they're doing. They don't have a plan. They don't know what to do. All they know is that in the energy that y'all are sitting in right now, they feel the need to withdraw. They feel the need to stand their ground and they feel like they're being way overly burdened. Coming up, it's like there's still this energy over here of somebody, Page of Wands, who wants, look at him with his little flowers. They want to come back there. They still have a desire and a passion and an urge to want to come forward and talk because there's no communication. And it's like they're just going to sit here and wait on this person to make poor life choices, make bad judgment calls, be emotionally toxic and codependent, not end their major karmic cycles. Whoever's over here has the way larger lesson to learn with all these major arcana and tens. Tens signify endings. So does the world. So does the death card. The lovers is like a choose your own adventure. You have to choose a path and go down one. I feel like this person didn't choose anything. I feel like they just didn't deal with it. Nobody's winning though in the end. It's like nobody's winning. This hangman energy between the two of you in the near future is creating nothing but like petty drama. Unnecessary, you know, frivolous energy. All right, Virgos, that was your a little general there. I'm going to go over to the other channel and clarify these for you right now. So go ahead and click on that link down there and come join me to do that. My new buddies. Um, and yeah, if you want that personal, hit me up in the description box below. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.